Hi everyone, this is Fred Wright from freegoogleSketchupTutorials.com Today we're going to draw a glass. Um, so I'm going to start with a circle and I'm going to do it 50 millimeters radius and I'm going to grab the pencil, draw a straight line from the edge of the circle to the center of the circle it doesn't really matter too much the height and width from all this and we're going to make a panel ok No matter what shape you do these, this is just the way I like to do it. Bit of a crazy shape for a glass, but anyway. It all makes sense in a minute. Now I'm just gonna select the outer circle like that with a select tool. And I'm going to grab this push pull tool here and click on there. Alright, for some reason there's a little bit of something sticking out there. Okay, look, that's a pretty crazy shape for a glass, isn't it? Wow. I like it anyway. Okay, we're just going to colour that in, so I'm going to select the whole glass, grab the pot of paint, select the colour that you want it to be and colour it in there you go, we have a glass how long did that take? right, but now we're going to change this glass and what we're going to do, I'm going to highlight the whole glass or select the whole glass and I'm just going to move it now, the computer's a little bit slow but by pressing control that makes it into a copy and I'm just click to let go and then I'm going to go just type in five times, enter and just leave it for a moment while the, while the uh, computer works out what we're trying to do. So we're going to end up with five copies of this, six altogether. But uh, a lot of curves and a lot of shape work, and a lot of entities that goes into uh, a glass like that. So it takes the computer a bit of a while to think about it. And there you go. Look, we've got lots of glasses now. There's six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So now. Now we've got these, what we can do is we can make some changes to them now. And so if we grab this little scale tool here, that allows us to scale our glass. So we can, if I grab that corner, for instance, we can make the same glass but smaller. Just click off that. Same glass but smaller, look at that. Or we could have made it bigger. Now the next one I'm going to select the scale tool and we can go up with that one make it much more taller slender looking glass look at that that's a nice nice tall glass okay and this one we're going to do the same we're going to make that a tall slender glass just like that one next to it. But, it takes a while for the computer to think. But, it's too tall, but we like the shape of it. So what we're gonna do is gonna go down from the corners now. So I'll keep that style and that shape. But it'll be a more usable size. There you go. On that side, and then we're going to grab that tool again, and with the same tool, we're going to make this one into a funny old shape, a bit like a vase or a vase, depends how you pronounce it. And this one, I think what we'll do with this one, if 
So just see if we can just hold on just that top rim. Hmm. Gotta be a little bit careful on this. I only want to highlight that rim around the edge. So I'm gonna turn some just gonna on that rim and I'm gonna grab this move tool. And I'm gonna drag it up. Now by pressing the up arrow it makes it go up only in a straight upward direction. Unfortunately it looks like I've grabbed some bits and pieces I didn't want here. But we can usually fix that by using the eraser. Very difficult to only grab the bits that you want on these sometimes. Anyway, you get the idea. I think we've got something going on inside here too. So you've got a few different glasses there. A few different styles of glasses. Okay, and you can copy them and change them as many times as you want. Pretty cool, hey? Not f didn't take very long at all to do. And we've got lots of different types and shapes. And, um, you can change the colours if you want to. Um, you can keep the shape and change the size. Um, yeah, not bad, just for a few minutes. Okay, thanks for watching. Remember googlesketchuptutorials.com and uh, yeah, if you'd like to go and have a look at that site there'll, there'll be more and more videos being posted on there and um, we really would love to hear your comments. So thanks again for watching.